good morning. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Tea Time with Mary. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou, and I have been trying to get rid of my hiccups all morning and they are not going away. <sighs> Oh well. Happy March, everybody. It is a brand new month. It's the beginning of spring. I'm sure you've already seen department stores and other places all over try to be like, outside now, yes? <laughs> <laughs> March is a wonderful time of year, and of course, those of us that are of Irish descent celebrate food with the soda bread, and then on St. Patrick's Day itself, everyone is invited to be Irish, of course, and partake in your favorite traditional activities. Doesn't have to be the alcohol, it can be whatever you want it to be. And you know, it's the first Tuesday of the month, and that means it's time for another episode of Tea of the Month. Tea of the month, it's tea of the month. Lance right, tea of the month, tea of the month. And I'm excited to share with you one of my favorite brews ever. You had a sneak peek of this on my Christmas taste test overhaul video with Jacob. It is a more refined and fancy version of one of my favorite teas ever and I wanted to share it with you in more depth and it's a little, you know, on the nose for March. <laughs> and of course, if you are new to the Miss Mary Lou channel, welcome my tea party and friends. It is so good to have you. If you have not subscribed to the Miss Mary Lou channel already, you are seriously missing out, hit the red subscribe button below and the little notification bell so you know when I upload. But first, let's drink some tea. Irish breakfast, blended black tea from Harney and Sons. This aromatic brew has bold notes of roasted malt that harmonize well with milk and sugar. So I'm finally featuring one of my favorite teas of all time on the show, Irish breakfast. It's so good. Now I know they do suggest drinking it with milk and sugar, but I actually like to drink it just straight up. But before we get into too much detail, Detail. Ooh, let's do this. It's tea time. It's tea time with Mary. Oh, let's give this a smell. Oh, it's hard to describe a black tea that's like just black tea without any other kinds of ingredients in it. It's just. It's a bold smell, and honestly, it just kind of reminds me of being a kid. I don't know if this is kind of similar to some of the first teas that I was exposed to, but this just smells like home. I know you can't really like take that off in a flavor profile box, but it's just, it's a clean smell. It's a rich smell. If it's brewed correctly, it shouldn't have Oh gosh. If it's brewed correctly, it shouldn't have too much of a tannin on it. I tend to go a little lower temperature on my Irish breakfast and a mindfully shorter steep time because I do generally drink it without sugar or milk in it. So uh, let's give it a taste, huh? Mm. Ow, when you hiccup with glass in your mouth. Mm. Yeah, friends, uh, that's perfect. If you are intimidated by black teas, Irish breakfast tea is a really, really good place to start. I find that Irish breakfast teas, as opposed to English breakfast teas, have softer overall notes. I find English breakfast teas to have a very straightforward kind of taste where it's not one note necessarily, but it's less complex. This, there's a softness, a roundness to it. Of course, you do have that like black tea strength in there. <laughs> It's just really lovely. Of course, this is one of the Harney and Sons black and gold label loose teas, but don't be intimidated. If you missed my guide on how to brew loose leaf tea super easily with stuff you already have in your kitchen, I'm gonna link that below. So don't be intimidated to go out and try something loose. Don't let loose teas hold you back from experiencing literally an entire world of fantastic, beautiful brews. 
So that is it for my March tea of the month. Irish breakfast tea. It is a staple. It's a great way to get into black teas. It is a softer version of its cousin English breakfast. You know I love me some Honey and Sons. This is not sponsored. I enjoy that they offer high quality tea brands in your grocery store for an affordable price. I will link this tea in the description box below, just like I always do. And if you want to support tea parties just like this, I do have a Patreon page. I will also put the link for that right at the top of the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I always love talking about things that I love and you guys love to see me talk about tea and you wanted more tea, so I will keep up this series for you. Thank you for being here with me. And last and most important of all, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on Sunday. It's tea time with Mary. Thanks for watching. Tea time with Mary. We hope we see you real soon. If you want to like, subscribe, and comment, we think that, that would be cool. Check out facebook.com slash tea time with Mary for all the content that's new. Or her Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. She's at Miss Mary Lou. So thanks again for joining us And thanks for being a friend We'll see you next Tuesday The fun never ends On Tea Time with Mary <laughs> That harmonize well with milk, milk, milk <clears throat>